class, it's Mrs. Gilliam back here again, this time for a video assignment on your lesson nine enrichment activity about crime maps. Before we get into that, I do have a joke of the unit for you, and this is, this is a good one, okay? Joke of the unit, question. Why did the elephant lawyer lose his case? Answer, because it was irrelevant. Get it, irrelevant. Elephant. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, if you didn't like the joke, maybe you'll like this assignment you've got. So just like last unit, you're going to have another enrichment activity where you're going to do a little bit of research and share with me what you've learned. So it's going to look like this and you'll start off just like the last one. You're going to click on the hyperlink and you're going to download the worksheet that you need to or make a copy, excuse me, of the worksheet that you'll need to complete the activity. Again, make sure you're logged into your school Gmail account so you'll be able to do that. So all criminal adjustment enrichment activity, lesson nine, crime maps. Here's the prompt. In many cities, police department websites offer interactive crime maps. These maps allow users to explore crime rates in different areas by data and type of crime. For this enrichment activity, you will practice using crime maps by looking at the interactive crime map for Ada County and then answering the questions in the table below. If you would prefer and you can find one, then you are welcome to use the crime map for your city or local county instead. So I'll give you the option there. I, I put the Ada County one there because it's very user friendly. It has a lot of detail on it. It's a bigger area. And so you're going to see more information. But if your you know, local city or one nearby has a crime map and you'd prefer to use that to try to answer the questions, then feel free to do that as well. Just make sure you're looking at a crime map um, and, and gathering the data for it. So here's the, the link right here. You'll In step one, use the Ada County Interactive Crime Map to answer the following questions, and each question, each question is worth 10 points. So you'll click here, and I'll show you this in a minute. I just want to show you the questions first. So the first question is, out of the crimes listed, which type seems to occur the most often based on the map? So you're going to look at the map and all the little dots, and you're going to go, wow, based on all these dots, this is the crime type that happens the most. Out of the crimes listed, which one seems to occur least often based on the map. So which one's not showing up as much? Which crimes seem to occur clustered together? So do you see any types of crimes where there's one and then there's another one that always seems to kind of be by it? And again, you're kind of using your best judgment here and analyzing. You may not get it perfect, but just say, hey, I think these ones look to be clustered together. Which areas seem to have a high crime rate? Where are there lots of crimes happening? What, are there certain neighborhoods where there's lots of crimes? And then the second one, which area, or this last one here, which area seems to have a lower crime rate? So where are there not very many of these, these crimes happening based on the map? So you'll answer all those questions using your crime map. And then step two, your short answer response, and at least five sentences answer the following question. And this will be worth 50 points. So it's important to do this part. How could crime maps benefit you in your life now and in the future? Make sure to provide an example from your life now and an example from your life in the future when answering this question. So again, just like the other one, you need to have five sentences. I, I want you to go into some detail. So in your present life, how, how are these crime maps beneficial? What, what information might they provide you that would be helpful? And then think about your future life when you're you know, maybe an adult raising a family somewhere or you're going to college somewhere or you have a job somewhere. Think about you in the future. How could these crime maps be beneficial for you and make sure you know you're making it specific to your life writing at least those five senses it's definitely not something i want you going on an ai generator trying to find because i want to know about you and your your own life here let me take a second to well, let me show you the rubric really quick and then we'll we'll finish with that website so you get 10 points for each answering each of those five questions, you know, accurately make sure you're you're being specific there. You don't necessarily have to have full complete sentences in that part, but you do need to have good answers there. And then for your short answer, you get 50 points. Again, I need to see five sentences. You will lose points if you are missing any of the sentences. I also need to see your opinion here. Make sure you're giving me something for the, you know, now how do crime maps benefit you and then something for you know, how they'll benefit you in the future. And now we'll take a look, we'll click on that, that hyperlink so you can see uh, what one of these crime maps actually looks like. We'll click there, it'll make us go that way. 
All right, and I will warn you right now, this crime app, they do a really good job of updating it. So when you go on it, it may not actually look like this because sometimes they change the format. But this is the landing page you'll come to. You can click on don't show me this again if you want. And then all of these things, if it's a telephone listed there, it represents a 911 call. And then each of these different colors represents a different crime that was committed. And you can come over here to layers and the legend, and that will tell you what each of those things represent. So like the red is pinkish. These are person crimes, blue are property crimes, uh, purple are society crimes, and then yellow are various. And then you can come click on a specific one and it'll tell you what happens. So this one's various categories, other, all other offenses, police, police department, arrest. Some of them aren't as specific as, as others. Um, here's a pink one. This one was a simple assault. So you could yeah, just kind of explore, click on each of them. If you don't want to see the, the telephone calls, you can remove my face. You can unclick them and then just see the crimes if that's what you want to focus on. So that'll give you some information. Um, so you can, yeah, just kind of drag and drop and you can scroll around to see, you know, where there's big clusters, where lots of crimes might be happening. You can scroll over and go, huh, well, there don't seem to be very many crimes at all in, in these parts. So just, just kind of play with the map, explore and see what you can learn here. But again, just clicking on each of these will give you some more background on what happened. Like, for instance, this was a drug narcotics violation. And uh, yeah, this gives you some great information. If you have any questions at all about you know, how to use this, please reach out to me. If you want to you know, run a different one by me that you've got, that's awesome as well. And again, I don't mind if you use a different one you've got. Just make sure you're answering all of those questions and maybe even let me know, hey, I used this one in my assignment. But other than that, um, let me know if you have any questions and good luck.